To install PX Essentials, go ahead and over to PX Central and click Install and Run. Here, go ahead and click New Spec, and you will be able to choose from Enterprise and Essentials. For this, we're going to choose Essentials. Note that there are a number of features that come with Essentials uh, that differentiate from the Enterprise group. Uh, Essentials is free forever. It does have a few limitations. One in which we're going to show today is our cloud snapshots. We get one volume cloud snapshot a day, right? So if you had a number of different applications, each one of those can be back up to the cloud every day. Here, go ahead and fill out your spec according to your information of your Kubernetes environment, whether it's on-prem, in the cloud, what orchestration system you're using. And this will bring you to uh, the screen where you can copy the command to install Portworks. Go ahead and copy this command and head over to your Kubernetes environment. Note, we've already gone ahead and run that command on this Kubernetes environment. So Portworks is already installed. Here we can get our pods with the name Portworks in the cube system namespace to see that we have all three Portworks nodes up and running. These are running Portworks Essentials. You can double check this by actually using Pixie status. And you'll see that it's labeled as the Essentials license. We're going to head over to our Portworks Central dashboard where we can see our Lighthouse integration. You can see we have no volumes yet um, in this cluster. So we're going to need to create an application and some volumes. We're going to use the cube create command to create a spec that will target a MySQL database. So here we're going to go ahead and create that MySQL database, which creates a storage class, the persistent volume claim that will provision the volume from Portworks and the deployment of MySQL itself. Now we can see that we do have a PVC created and back in our Lighthouse dashboard, we reload and this volume is up and running on node four. Now we can see what cloud snaps are available currently. We have none. We just created this volume. Going to go ahead and create one. So first thing we need with the cloud snapshot is a schedule. You can cloud snap without a schedule, but we're going to do this every two minutes so we can show that the second one might have a limitation according to essentials for this volume. So here we can see the volume snapshot and that it's using the snapshot type cloud. We have a credential already set up for Amazon S3, and we're using the scheduled policy name of two minutes. Note in the documentation, you can see the full list of features and limitations for PX Essentials. The one that we're going to head and test out now is cloud snapshots to cloud storage. These are limited to one per volume per day. So if I add another application, we could absolutely keep doing these at once a day, but we're going to try to do two subsequently and see what happens. So now we're going to create that snapshot and soon we should see our first cloud snap tech place. So back in our Lighthouse dashboard in Central, we can see that we have a successful cloud backup to Amazon S3. It's completed and successful. Now, according to our schedule, another cloud snapshot should take place. So what we're going to do is check out the volume snapshot data that we see in our dashboard is also available on the CLI and it happened 32 seconds ago. So as we wait for the next one to kick off a couple minutes later, and we're just about at that time. So if we quickly check once more, we should see our second snapshot taking place. Okay, so here's our second one. It's kicked off about 30 seconds ago. Now, we won't see it in the UI because it really is having an issue, right? So we can describe this snapshot and see that it needs a feature upgrade. So this is just showing that we are in fact using PX Essentials. You are allowed to use cloud snapshot backups, but you're allowed to use one of them for every volume. So hopefully this shows you kind of 
the uh, ability to run Portworx data management or Kubernetes, but at some limitation, which you can still do some pretty uh, great stuff with. So please check it out. And until next time, take care.